not. Yeah, coming in that second or third place spot, a coveted place in those play in, in, in Iowa and New Hampshire. Well, Marco Rubio firing back against Ted Cruz and saying, you know, it's kind of like an honor that they're coming after me. Watch this. <laughs> and then the candidates being attacked, really obviously tough. someone's worried about you. So obviously nice. Senator Cruz is worried about my candidacy. And he has a lot to answer for. I mean, just today, you know, we saw, uh, we were showing people a tweet that he put out during the immigration debate where he talked about how he supported legalization. So I think people are starting to learn that, that the truth about Ted on immigration and a bunch of other issues shows a history of compilation. And I think it's starting to hurt him a little bit. Yeah, Des Moines Register had Ted Cruz on the Man. front page saying what a rough night it was during the debate for him. So there it, it is. It gets rough bitter night. at the end. There's a lot at stake. Whoever wins this state could, could really, I mean, the momentum could change dramatically after Monday. So these guys tend to yeah. kind of pull out all the stops. Yeah, Tucker, what do you think? I mean, with, with Marco Rubio gaining momentum and as Iowa does its job and New Hampshire does its job to winnow the field, do you think Cruz is starting to th you know, think, oh, maybe some of these establishment candidates are going to start rallying behind Rubio? Boy, that's, that's the hope of everyone in Washington. I have no idea if that's actually happening or not. It's so hard to tell because the caucus process itself is so complicated. I mean, I'm starting to take a pass on the question. I just don't know, but I do know that everyone where I live is you know, really hoping for Rubio. Whether that's going to work, I'm not clear. Another factor in all this, too, Tucker, is this snowstorm, which is barreling down on your neck of the woods out there in Des Moines. Rick Wright, me at this standing by. Will it slow down activity at the polls? Yeah, you know, there's a big storm coming. It right now looks like it's a Tuesday storm, but a blizzard. So, I mean, if this were one day before, it would 